Matt, today is National Onion Rings Day. Mm. Go for onion rings. Yes. And it also happens to be National Kissing Day. Oh, wrap your <laughs> lips around an onion ring. I was Aww. just thinking, like, get a mint before you get your smooching on if you've had some onion rings. Uh huh. Good point. Onion rings. Yes. It's also Chocolate Eclair Day and HVAC Tech Day. So if you know any HVAC techs out there, ah, celebrate them. Take them out to dinner. Wish them a happy HVAC Tech Day. That's exciting. Yeah. Chocolate Eclair Day. Hmm. Huh. Chocolate Eclair Day. Yep. You like eclairs? Eclairs normally have the cream in them, right? It's a cream-filled pastry. Well, that's why I was curious. Is it the white cream or is that the one that's got the like pudding in it? I think it's got the white cream, like the pudding. Typing eclair now. But then it's got the chocolate on top. So I'm like, I'm going to pass because I don't like the cream on the inside. You don't like a cream-filled donut? Yeah. I like the, the white cream donuts, but I do not like the ones full of, yeah, custard. Yeah. Ugh. No, thanks. I'm at the... Eclair Wikipedia now. And yeah, and and Eclair could have custard, whipped cream, or chibust cream? C-H-I-B-O-U-S-T? Mm-hmm. It's a creme pâtissière lightened with Italian meringue cake. Yeah, it's probably Mm. too fancy for my taste buds. Okay. (laughs) You can't pronounce it? You think it might be too fancy for your taste buds? Probably, probably, yeah. It's a good rule of thumb, yeah. Yeah. You gonna be smooching on anybody for kissing day, Matt? I'll need to find somebody. I thought you were gonna say, if I do, I'll never tell. You the kiss and tell type? Oh yeah. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Turn around and tell all my friends, all the listeners. Smoochy smoochy. Yeah. And you know notice I haven't been sharing such stories on the radio. National Kissing Day. Yeah. Now, it sounds like an opportunity for one of those dating companies. Remember, was it Tinder that had the plus one feature? Yes, I think you're right. They should have one that's just so that you can have someone to smooch on for National Kissing Day. There you go. That way you're not embarrassed when your co-star on your super successful radio show calls you out. (laughs) Am I right? I didn't call you out. I just asked. Are you going to be smooching anybody? Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, you didn't. Especially... How about you? You're going you're gonna to smooch his mont, his mont around or is he out of town? Uh, he might be home tonight. Otherwise, you guys might have to kiss through the camera hole on your phones. Either that I'm just going to have mm-hmm. to smooch on my babies. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or the dog. The dog lets me smooch her. Was my sound effect correct? Is that what you guys sound like when you're kissing? Mm-hmm. No. No? <laughs> no. I don't know if I had a good guess. It almost sounded like your nom nom sound, nom, so. Nom, nom. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought your nom nom sound is for eating. Oh, uh, nah. I, I make, I make oh, okay. those noises for both those activities. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I sound like when I'm eating and when I'm kissing. People can't stand to be around me for either one of those things, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, Kate, I think the headline for the story... Says it all. Tech addiction or habit. Five ways to assess your social media use. Compulsively checking feeds. Never feeling satisfied and being anxious without your phone. Are clues that your social media use isn't healthy. Yeah. Uh, So how do you feel? You have tremors? You have some chills right now? No. And you know, the times that I do forget my phone or don't have my phone, I'm definitely okay. Thanking God. Mm. Thank you for disconnecting me. Thank you. I'm like, all right, this isn't so bad. We're okay. I feel a little bit vulnerable without my phone, you know, if I'm traveling or something. Yeah. I go, great, my car's going to break down now. Do you feel that way even with the brand new car? A new car. Do, 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 do. No. No. Not really, but I haven't been without my phone in it yet. But you never know. Could hit a right. deer, you know. I've been known to do that. Correct. Does your car have any safety features that should you not have the ability to get to your phone? Oh, yeah. It did come with some OnStar. Yeah. I think. Yeah, a little a sample of OnStar is included. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. That would. That, that's my little, like, safety net in my car is that I do have OnStar. So, if something, if I didn't have my phone. But I did a grocery pickup 
and I forgot my phone. So when you get to the store and you're supposed to call them or mm-hmm. like get in the app and tell them what stall you're in. Yeah. I was like, uh, I don't have my phone to do that. So I just had to get out of my car and talk to one of the per- people. And then they found me and then they brought me my groceries. So it was fine. Like an animal. I know. They're like, get back in your car, lady. Yeah. But they handled <laughs> it. We got it. Phew. How do you forget your phone? I left it on the charger and we walked out for church. Oh, okay. Does it typically go in your purse? I assume. Typically, yeah. Or in your back pocket so it can go into the toilet. Uh, I've learned my lesson. So it usually goes in my purse. Okay. Yeah. When I don't have my purse, sometimes it'll go in my back, my back pocket. If I have a pocket. Yeah. Women aren't allowed to have pockets, right? I know. It's ridiculous. Have, have they not figured that out yet? I don't understand. Figured at some point in time there would have been a correction or there would have been like the all pockets jeans, you know? Mm-hmm. Where there are like so many pockets, it's sickening. Cargo pants for women. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, all pockets. You know, like whoops, all crunch berries. Oh, all crunch berries. Good call. <laughs> okay. That made me hungry. Oh, I did like Captain Cr- Captain, excuse me. I did like Captain Crunch a lot as a kid. That was my favorite cereal. Mm-hmm. Even though it shredded the roof of my mouth. Even though it, yeah, you could taste blood when you were eating cereal, but it was so good. Yeah. It's nice that they formulated it so that it complemented the taste of blood so nicely. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matt, do you ever drink coffee when you're shopping? Coffee when I'm shopping? Yeah. If I'm shopping at home, potentially, or shopping on the computer, I could be. Yeah. Okay. But walking about the store drinking coffee? Probably not. Yeah. You? Well, like, Target usually has Starbucks attached to it. They have oh, yeah. these little... Right. Cup holders for your coffee while you're strolling through the store. Sure, yeah. Or not a survey. A study said that you spend more when you're drinking coffee. I wonder why that is. So if you're out shopping, you should be drinking decaf or water. Huh. Okay. Because if you're drinking coffee, you're okay. going to be more energetic and a bit more impulsive. It's the caffeine. It's not just yeah. the fact it's coffee. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, the study had people drinking coffee, decaf, or water. And by the end of the day, the coffee drinkers spent 55% more money and they bought 30% more stuff. Interesting. So they said the coffee drinkers bought more non-essential items that they didn't really need. Impulse purchases. Seems like an opportunity because there are people that drink coffee all day long. Mm -hmm. So I would think that would be the, give you an opportunity to say that just coffee drinkers in general Make more impulsive purchases, potentially? I don't know. Maybe. Fascinating. Impulsive decisions? I don't yeah. know. Meanwhile, you're anti-coffee. I am glad that people love coffee. I just don't drink it. Oh, excuse me. Yes, to be yeah. clear. Right. That's one of the nicest things about you, Kate, is that you allow other people to enjoy the things that they enjoy that you wouldn't. A hundred percent. Live yeah. your life. It doesn't affect me. Woo! Yep. You drink coffee and shop. Go on. You do you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's the sad thing is I think I'm an impulsive shopper and I can't blame it on coffee. Oh, so imagine if you were caffeinated. Right. Good God. Right. Watch out. All right. Hold on your bank accounts. Here comes Kate. Here she comes. So I saw class reunions are happening again. Did you know that? What do you mean? Were they not happening? Yeah, during COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah, in fact, I ran into an article. Class reunions are back. So is the social anxiety that comes with them. Oh. A wave of rescheduled reunions is sending alums right back into the anxious, awkward melodrama of their school days. Oh. To which I say, you don't have to go to these things. Right? Right. Right. You don't have to. And the biggest thing is that those people that were cool in high school, well, some of them might still be cool, but a lot of them aren't. aren't. No. Mm-mm. All good. And no one cares. I don't think. No one cares. I had a great experience in high school. So I had a great high school reunion experience. Yeah. Did you have a 20th? I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. We had a 20th just before pandemic shutdown. It was kind of funny. Actually, someone, quote, went rogue and and organized this reunion, like, without notifying the school. And then some friends and my, no, I shouldn't say some friends, some classmates were outraged that it occurred at this bar. Instead of being at some boring hotel place thing. 
So they were going to do a second reunion. Okay. I'm confused. Do you need to notify the school that you're doing the reunion? I guess because then the school can use its appropriate channels of outreach to make sure that they get invites to everybody. I don't know. See, that's not we didn't do that. That was the way it was framed with the people that were upset about it. Ah, so maybe not everybody got invited because it didn't go through the school. Well, there's a possibility that happened. Okay. I I know one specific person was really annoyed that this high school reunion was happening outside of a more official kind of channel, I guess. Okay. And then specifically, I guess, was kind of snooty about the fact that it was happening at a bar. Yeah. You know, I mean, they booked an entire area of this bar, like the entire rooftop. Yeah. And yeah, threw a fit. Didn't go. Was this person the class president and they were supposed huh. to be the one planning it? And yeah. then somebody came in and said, hey, we're just going to do it. No, nah, nothing like that. I think it was just okay. someone was just like, hey, we're going to do it. Because we even did a five-year reunion. Yeah. You know, and so when you're just doing a five-year reunion, that definitely doesn't seem like something you need to run up the chain of the school or whatever. But, yeah. And it was funny because they went ahead and tried to reschedule it, you know, to make a new one. They made it, we had the, the nice one at the bar, which was fun. And then, you know, they booked their fancy ballroom or whatever the hell they wanted to do. And then, ha, 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 COVID-19 shut it down. So that made it... That made the whole pandemic kind of worth it, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Matt. I'm joking. Thank you. The million dead people is not, not, uh, not, not great times. No. So speaking as a class president who's planned a 20-year reunion, we did uh-huh. nothing with the school. Okay. We did it all with like our little committee. We got all the invitations out. And we didn't want to do the ballroom thing because we didn't want to charge people right, a bunch right. of money. So we kind of looped in with our school's alumni weekend and we just said, hey, we're going to be on this side of the alumni weekend thing in the parking lot where they had a band and beers and food. And we just kind of joined in that. And I thought it was a lot of fun because it wasn't stuffy. It was outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you wanted to hang with other classes, you could. If you wanted to hang with just our class, you could. So I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I don't think you need to make something so formal, you know? Yeah, ours was not formal. And it was... Get your finest suit out. Here we go. I thought it was a lot of fun because it was yeah. informal. Sounds good. Ours so, was too. And same reason. Yeah. And people were responsible for buying their own beers and food. And it was... Yeah. yeah. Then you're not lumped into a $50 ticket per couple of her... Right. Yeah. Expensive cash bar. Yeah. I did miss my college 20 year. But next year, my college is celebrating 150 years. So they're doing a giant reunion. So I think a bunch of us are coming back next year. College. Yeah. I've been out of college 20 years. How often do college reunions happen? How common is that, I should say? Well, they do one at St. Mary. They do one, I think, each year for the 10 and the 5. Small enough school that a whole bunch of people know each other. Mm -hmm. Whereas it would be fairly shocking if I ended up, unless I was with somebody I knew and we went out of our way to do it, the odds you ended up with the same person in two classes seemed kind of low. Yeah. I guess if it was like the journalism journalism school, if there was a specific reunion for that, I'd know some people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Party. I didn't mind the reunion part for high school. I had a lot of fun in high school, so I thought the reunion was fun too. So 20 years out of college, are you feeling old? Very. Yeah. Especially since I like kind of stumbled on that, like, what year is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It wasn't like, hey, next year I'll be out of college for 20 years. And then it was like, (gasps) shoot. You can always take a college class and reset that clock. Yeah. I'm in college right now. It's a matter of right. You know, no. Okay. Nah. Cause then I'd have to like do the class, Matt. Come on. It's fun to learn. Kate. It's great to learn when that's your job. <laughs> when you have oh. other jobs. Yeah. 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 I was working when I was in college. I had work study. I babysat. Oh, see, you were able to do them both. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Totally the same thing as working full time, two full time kids with schedules. Mm-hmm. Yep. Totally the same. One Monty. One Monty who's 
sometimes in town. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't fathom trying to do homework or reading a book in one night versus like, I'm just going to read leisurely because I like it. Yeah. (laughs) Reading smut. Who's reading smut? You. No. I'm not reading smut. Do you not read romance novels? No. Oh. Oh, Okay. Never mind. No. Ever tempted? Have you ever tried? I read the Outlander series, which is not a romance novel, but it definitely has romance in it. Huh. Yeah. But like Fifty Shades of Grey? No, I've never read that. Oh, you're missing out. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Uh, I haven't read it either. I just thought I was trying to sound cool. Okay. But I can't lie. I did not read Fifty Shades of Grey or the sequel. Have you seen the Hollywood Walk of Fame class of 2023, Matt? I have not. No. Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is the one with the stars. Yeah. I wonder at what point they're going to run out of sidewalk. <laughs> good, good point. They might need to dig a hole and make a second level below it or something. It's going to actually leave Hollywood. It's going to be in San Francisco now. Right. So who is in there? Uma Thurman. Uma. Uma okay. Thurman. Vince Vaughn. Ludacris. Luda. Bill Pullman. Paul Walker, Jonas Brothers, Lenny Kravitz, Blake Shelton, Mark Anthony. Seems like a lot. Yeah. They've got the motion picture category, recording artists, and then television, which Mindy Kaling, Martin Lawrence, Ralph Macchio, Ellen Pompeo, and Jon Favreau will all be there, which surprises me that Jon Favreau is not for movies. He's there for television right? as a director. Hmm. Well, he has been. He's the Mandalorian guy, right? Doesn't he do that one? Right. And he's also like the Iron Man and Avengers and Lion oh, yeah. King. Right. Yeah. Ah, Topanga, we dee, shall be wah. Mama. Jonas Brothers getting their own star, though. And Joe Bros. They should, in parentheses, they should put, does not include Frankie. Frankie not included. No bonus Jonas included. Right. Just the three, right. not all four. Yeah, so they just announced the class of 2023. There's no ceremony on the calendar yet. They do them one at a time, right? Don't they just knock them out one at a time? I think you're right, but I think they do like a giant one. Here's where we're going to announce everybody and coming to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, then they do them one by one. Yeah, that way it can be a big to-do so that you can appreciate... Mindy Kaling can have her own day. That's right. But the Jonas Brothers, they'll just get one day. Oh. Yeah. Nick won't do one day, and then the next day, Joe shows up, and then the next Mm -hmm. day, Kevin. Right. Are you impressed that I can name all the Jonas Brothers? Yeah. What's the bonus Jonas's name? Frankie, remember? Yeah. Because I said that they should have parentheses next to their name, and it says not Frankie. Close parentheses. Got him. Boom. Nice try, Joe Bros. Memorized all of you. Got them all. Matt, when's the last time you had sushi? I give up. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Really? Probably five to ten years, I'll say. Holy smokes. Wow. What's wrong with me? Man, I kind of like sushi. Yeah. What am I been doing with my life? Get after it, man. You got some Jeez. catching up to do. Well, luckily, you brought it up. There's a sushi restaurant in Chicago. That's going viral because they serve Cheetos Puff Sushi. Cheetos Puff Sushi. Yep. <laughs> okay. So they crunch up the Cheeto Puffs and then they roll their sushi in the crumbs. Do they baby bird it or do they crush it up in some kind of apparatus that's not their mouths? I'm pretty sure they have an apparatus, maybe like a rolling pin, <laughs> maybe like a meat tenderizer. That's what I would do it with. Mm, That sounds like a good idea, yeah. Not your mouth, though. Not baby birding. There's nothing on here about baby birding, because then it wouldn't be crumbs. It would be like clusters of wet Cheeto. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't sound as good. Yeah. But it's a Cheeto puff crunch, dusting of crunch that sits on a roll filled with salmon and crab. Sounds good. I think it sounds not so bad. Yeah, it's (laughs) got to be... Better for you than frying it, right? You know, when they had fried sushi rolls? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that you get your crunch. And it's better for you than just like eating a bag of Cheetos for dinner. 
Right. Yeah, much better for you than that. Get some protein in there. Mm. I'm down. I'm down. Speaking of baby birding, friends of mine have a bird's nest in the window. I think it's at the front of their house. Mm-hmm. And so they basically have their own little like zoo exhibit that they can watch from the inside of their house. That's cool. Yeah. So I've been sharing video of, they say, the dad feeding the, the babies. And so, yeah, there's yeah. video. The, apparently the dad doing baby birding. I always assumed it was just the mom that did that stuff. Me too. But I guess it's being gender normative or something. Shame on me. Do they have a uh, camera on the nest so they can live stream it? No, but that's a good idea. Yeah. I think so far they've just caught them in the act. I'm like, oh, roll tape, get them. Quick. Would you let a baby bird exist in a window at your house, Kate? Absolutely. Okay. You wouldn't be tempted to break open the eggs and make omelets or anything like that? No. Okay. No. Might be little baby birds in there anyway. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a very fun scene. That would be bad. Yeah. It would be really bad. Yeah. I'm even kind of weird about farm fresh eggs. So. Oh, really? Why? You're worried yeah. there might be a chicken in there? Well, I I don't know. Probably because you have to like see the chickens that you're just taking them from as opposed to just going to the store and be like, look, it just appeared here. Oh, so you mean like actually going to a farm? Yeah. To get the eggs? Oh, okay. I thought you meant like a farmer's market or something like that potentially. Or the grocery no. store. Or they're advertised that way? Okay. Yeah. Yep, I just got another dozen eggs from my brother and sister-in-law over the weekend. Because they have their own chickens? Yeah, they got a lot of them. Like they've got at least in the teens somewhere a number of chickens. 13, 14? Whose job is it to go harvest the eggs? I believe the entire family. Okay. It's eggs. And they're good. Good eggs. Mmm. The yolks are just massive in these things. Yeah. And more orange than yellow, you know? Mm-hmm. It's good mm-hmm. stuff. And I pay for the more expensive eggs. You pay your brother for the eggs? No, I don't pay. He, they give me the eggs for free. Okay. okay. That's what I was... Yeah. No, when I'm at the grocery store and... Okay. They can't supply the entirety of my egg needs, you know? <laughs> and so <laughs> I go to natural grocers to get eggs. Okay. At last check, you can still get the, the nice free-range eggs for two bucks a dozen. It's pretty good. There you go. It's a loss leader. I always feel bad just getting eggs when I'm leaving. Like, eh. Why? You're right. I shouldn't care. Because they're losing money on me was my, my thought. And they're kind of a small grocery store. But they're a na- nationwide chain. They're fine. They'll be fine. They're okay, Matt. And then once you go in there and buy those vitamins. Have you been in there before? I don't think so. Yeah, it's one of those stores that has a lot of aisles of vitamins and supplements and such. Yeah. Trying to get you to... Get some uh, St. John's wort or ginseng <laughs> or what other. These things have funny names. I'm trying to think of other ones that are pretty funny. And you're just there for the eggs. I'm just there for the eggs. And like, are you sure you don't need any valerian root? There we go. And yeah, I could come up with another one. <laughs> Maybe we interest you in any valerian root today. I mean, they're not pushing them, right? It's just aisles. Correct. Right? They're not like employees walking through going, hey, have you tried? Yeah, and they open up their trench coat and there's a, it's lined with various different supplements. Like they're drug dealers. But that's not how it is at natural grocers, right? I haven't encountered that person yet, no. Okay, okay. But I'm not going to rule it out either. I, don't I understand, I don't right? Yeah. <laughs> 